Hi, hello, welcome to our class. We're going to discuss intellectual revolutions. Our learning outcomes or our objectives in this topic is that we're going to discuss the paradigm shift through history. And we're going to explain how this intellectual revolution changed the way human see the world. And last, to describe the technological advancements that happen in the information age. The advancement of the science and technology changes the people's perception. The advancement of science and technology changes the people's perception and beliefs. Much of these events happen in the period. We call it the intellectual revolution. We will be discussing three intellectual ideas or scientific ideas, revolution, such as the Copernican Revolution, Darwinian Revolution, and the Phrygian Revolution. The Copernican Revolution, this guy here, the person, his name is Nicholas Copernicus, 1473-1543 was a mathematician and astronomer. He proposed that the sun was stationary in the center of the universe and that Earth revolved around it. This disturbed the Ptolemy's theory of the geocentric model of the universe, wherein he believed that the center is, uh, the Earth is the center of the universe in which uh, the catholic church has supported okay this is his model of geocentric theory in which is the earth is the center of all the planets such as the moon the mercury venus saturn jupiter mars and as well as the sun but they couldn't explain some other movements of the planets how it works or how it moves. Although uh, he stated that, according to Claudius Ptolemy, that the planets as well as the sun and the moon moved in circular motion around the earth. This theory, he called it the heliocentric model. This is his model of uh, the universe in which is he introduced the concept of the heliocentrism in which he suggested that the center of the universe or the solar system was not the earth but actually the sun. His idea was then rejected by uh, the people, especially a cage's belief. Okay, it was rejected at first and he was persecuted as heretic because of his teaching were against the widely accepted religion that is the catholic church later on then it was eventually accepted by the people in a period in which was called the birth of modern astronomy before the invention okay or the the instrument being invented but before that invention uh, there was one of his one of his great supporter defender of his uh, theory a friend his name is Giordano Bruno and was also executed and publicly burned and this is now the time when Galileo Galilei believes the theory of Copernicus that is why okay when he invented the telescope that which will be support uh, to Nicholas Copernicus theory. And this era began. It was known as the scientific revolution, which resulted in the transformation of the society's thoughts and their beliefs. Let's talk about next Darwinian revolution. This is him, Charles Robert Darwin. He introduced the theory of evolution, which is positive that populations pass through 
a process of natural selection in which is the only fetus would survive. He stated that organisms can adapt to their environment and would gradually change into something that would be more competitive to survive. And this process is known as the evolution. And his book is The Origin of Species. And last class is Sigmund Freud. Freudian Revolution. Sigmund Freud was the founder, was considered as the founder of the psychodynamic approach of psychology, which was looks unconscious drives to explain the human behavior. The field of psychology was always classified under philosophy. It was considered as more of an art rather than as a science. In the late 19th century, he was able to change the people's perception of psychology with his revolutionary theory of the psychoanalysis. Well, psychoanalysis is the study that explained the human behavior. He explained then that there are many conscious and unconscious factors that can influence our behaviors and emotions. He also argued that personality is a product of these three conflicting elements, which is our, the id, ego, and super ego. These three revolutionizing theories are just some of the many scientific ideas that transformed the world and molded, that molded the societies and beliefs. Through the scientific research, their studies, and experimentations, people will continue to deepen their understanding of the world and the universe. Thank you.